see recently rbi's weekly forex reserve data have shown that india's forex reserve have reached its peak now as per the latest data india's forex reserves is nearly 568 billion us dollar okay and this is the highest forex reserve till now we have attained there is a chance that it will increase on a continuous basis now every week rbi will release this data now why i am discussing this topic for today is you need to understand that forex reserve is a favorite topic of upsc from this news okay from this news till now upsc have asked two questions in in the year 2013 as well as in the latest upsc prelims in 2020 prelims also in 2020 prelims as well as in 2013 prelims upsc have asked a question from forex reserve so you will so you are supposed to read these news on a regular basis and you need to understand uh, what type of questions is upsc asking from it okay so have an idea every weekly rb releases data on forex reserve now we are having a record forex reserve of 568 us dollar in billion 560 billion us dollar okay so in the november first week data 2020 data of rbi says that india's forex reserve have jumped by a massive 7.77 billion touching a lifetime high of dollar 568 billion in the week ended november uh, 6th okay and it says that this is a key word okay this is whenever you need read this weekly news on forex reserve this common point they will highlight okay they will say that the rise in the forex reserve was primarily on account of increase in the foreign currency assets okay so this is the one of the component one of the major component of india's forex reserve is foreign currency assets okay uh, there are many currencies are there mainly us dollar euro japanese uh, japanese yen pound sterling etc but dollar is the major component so try to understand that even though foreign currency assets is denominated in us dollar it is not only having us dollar there are other currencies is also there okay so it says that foreign currency assets rose by 6.4 billion us dollar and have an idea out of this out of this 568 billion forex reserve 524 billion is constituted by foreign currency assets so nearly 92 percentage nearly 92 percentage of our forex reserves is mainly comprising of foreign currency assets mainly us dollar so this this is another important term this is another important uh, point to note down when you read this news that see the foreign currency assets increases due to two factors one is if there is uh, if the for bop increases okay you are supposed to know all these concepts okay if the if there is increase in the bop okay what will happen if the bop is surplus if the bop is surplus it means that there is more foreign currency coming to india than outgo okay so one one reason if the the reason for increase in foreign currency is asset is increase in the balance of payment so it means that we are receiving more foreign currency than the outgo of foreign currency that is one factor second factor why there is increase in uh, the foreign currency asset or why there is change in the foreign currency asset is so one important point note down is that this foreign currency assets and the other forex reserve is expressed in dollars and it says that the foreign currency assets include the effect of appreciation or depreciation of non us units non us currencies okay the non us currencies like euro pound and yen will weigh means appreciate or depreciate in relation to the dollar and we are converting it into these currencies into dollar so naturally the variation that is the appreciation of or depreciation of the non us currencies will have an impact on the foreign currency assets so these two points okay so the appreciation or depreciation of the uh, non us currencies as well as the change in the bop will impact 
our foreign currency assets. So the major component of our forex reserve is foreign currency assets. The second component is the gold reserves. Okay, be very clear. When we say gold reserve, it's not, it is the gold reserves of RBI. RBI is holding gold. Okay, how much gold RBI is holding? The gold reserves of RBI or the gold stock of RBI is also a component of our forex reserve. So, even the gold reserves of RBI increased in the last week by 1.3 billion. So, that now the current value of the RBI gold uh, is 37 billion US dollar and that constitutes so the second major component the second major component uh, of a forex reserve is the gold stock of RBI which constitute around 6.6 percentage of the forex reserve the first component is foreign currency asset second component is the gold reserves of RBI or gold stock of RBI now the third the, there are two more components are there okay so the third and the fourth component of forex reserve is related with IMF Okay, have an idea, India is a member of IMF. All the members of IMF have to provide certain I quota in the form of certain currencies. We call it as IMF quota. This IMF quota, every member country have to contribute to IMF in the form of quota. This IMF quota decides the voting power of each member as well as this quota decides how much loan the member can take from IMF. So, the, this quota is very important and naturally this IMF quota is, is assigned to each country ma mainly on the strength of their GDP and other related uh, indicators. Okay. So, as per the latest revision of the IMF quota, India just for your knowledge, India's quota with IMF is roughly around 13,114 million that is 13 billion of SDR. So, this word you will come across special drawing rights. Okay. So, be very clear as part as India is a member of IMF, India have to contribute to its quota. So, the normal contribution is in the form of uh, Indian currency as well as foreign currency. But IMF denominate this quota contribution in its own currency it created. Okay. So, IMF have created an artificial currency what we call it as special drawing rights so it will allot sdr for its member country so the the sdr holdings the sdr holdings way of each respective government can be included can be included with our forex reserve so the third major component of the forex reserve is, is the sdr holdings and the fourth component is as part of this imf uh, quota allocation okay so i told you that uh, a certain percentage of the quota is each country will give in their own currency that is their local currency in india's case it is rupee and the remaining in foreign currency okay so imf says that a certain percentage of their imf quota should be in foreign currency since this so this certain percentage of IMF quota which has to be in uh, foreign currency which each member gives to the IMF is what is called as reserve tranche, reserve position with the IMF or reserve tranche with the IMF. Now the speciality of this, why I am discussing reserve tranche is that, okay, this reserve tranche, earlier it was called as gold tranche, was the 2020 prelims question. Okay, so this reserve tranche is also part of the forex reserve. So, this, the advantage of this reserve tranche position with the IMF is that or reserve uh, position with the IMF is that that the, the money can be withdrawn by the each member country. So, the reserve tranche, the reserve tranche, the reserve tranche a member country is which is having with the IMF can be withdrawn by that member country at its own discretion without it is not IMF approval is not required and it need not to pay any service fee it need not to pay any interest when it is withdrawing from the reserve tranche okay so so it's like a credit mechanism even though it is contributing member country can withdraw that money whenever they want it's like a credit mechanism IMF provides for its members okay so the third component of forex reserve is special drawing rights 
okay and currently it is 1.488 billion special drawing rights and the fourth component is the reserve tranche with the IMF which is currently 4.676 billion okay so be very clear these are the four components of forex reserve one is foreign currency assets second one is gold stock of RBI or gold reserves of RBI third is the special drawing rights fourth is the reserve tranche position with the IMF and from this I told you UPSC have asked two questions we will try to solve this question so that you will have an idea what type in which manner UPSC asks prelims questions okay the 2013 question is like this okay which one of the following groups of items is included in India's foreign exchange reserve now it's very clear we know that foreign currency assets are there gold holdings of RBI is there and SDR is there so the 2000 this answer for this question is B foreign currency assets gold holdings of the RBI and SDR okay loans from foreign currency or loans from the world bank is not part of it's not part of foreign currency or it's forex reserves okay so the answer is b now you see the that is the 20 uh, 2013 prelims question now see the recent prelims question 2020 prelims question the gold tranche okay or reserve tranche see reserve tranche was earlier called as gold tranche because before instead of providing this foreign currency the member countries have to provide this reserve in the form of gold that's why it was called as gold tranche but it was abolished now it is it is called as reserve tranche okay so the risk gold tranche or reserve tranche refers to what it is see if you know that this reserve tranche is something associated with the imf that itself will give you an this was one of the easiest question if you are aware of this forex reserve so it is not associated with world bank it is not an operation of the central bank it is not associated with wto so the answer is d a credit system by imf to its members so answer is d so this is the reason why this topic on forex reserve is very important you need to be update with the uh, forex reserve thank you